Andre Crouch is often called the father of modern gospel for revolutionizing the sound of contemporary gospel music. He's recorded 18 solo albums, won nine Grammy Awards, and has been honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Throughout his 50-year musical career, Andre's music has touched millions with songs like Soon and Very Soon, The Blood Will Never Lose Its Power, and My Tribute. I think about all the diversified personalities and people and countries that I play in, and uh, I want to be able to sing my songs to anybody. He and his sister Sandra serve as pastors at the New Christ Memorial Church of God in San Fernando, California. Today, they join us to talk about their bond as twins and how music has carried them through some of life's greatest trials. Pastor Andre and Sandra, thank you so much for joining us on Turning Point. It's our pleasure to be here with you. Thank you. Yes. Well, Pastor Andre, I want to ask you, because I know um, you and your sister, you're so close, best of friends, you're pastors, you've done music together. Um, and then in your, in your album, you said that you thanked her for being a mainstay by your side. So I just want to ask, what has, what is, what has it meant to you to have her with you through all the years? Being that we're twins, I don't think that I could ever separate uh, or realize the importance that she has played in my life. Uh, it's almost like she's like a leg or a major part of my body. <laughs> You know, but uh, she's been an, an encourager. In fact, the very first song that God gave me. The Blood? Yeah. Uh, I just asked the Lord, I said, God, it's true what you will give me. Uh, teach me how to write a song. The, the song that I just want to thank you on behalf of everyone watching for rescuing it out of the trash. Uh, so he, what, what, ha what actually happened? Well, see, I w we had a little uh, music room at my folks' house, and he would play the piano, and he said, oh, this song is nothing, and he took it, and he threw it in the trash. And I picked the song out of the trash. But that was at the house. Yeah, after he had written the song, then we went home, and, and the title was The Blood, and they said, what a gory title, The Blood. <laughs> and so I said, that's not gory, I like it. I said, I think you need to keep this song. So I took it out, it was on a piece of notebook paper, and I said, Andre, this is a good song, watch and see. Mm -hmm. And the Lord just turned, turned it all around. Now the importance of The Blood, because uh, they had changed the title to It Will Never Lose Its Power, but we said, keep it at The Blood because of the significance of The Blood of Jesus. Mm, the Blood. Yes. Now, I want to ask, because I know both of you have been through a lot. Um, you've been through great successes, music-wise, um, but you've also been through great trials with the loss of your parents. And um, Andre, you had said that uh, you had battled cancer four times. So I want to ask, um, through this journey, what has worship done to really get you through not only the highs, but the lows? Well... Uh, it, it worked for me the way it will work for anybody. And that's for, for me to get my mind off of what was happening and just keep it on the Lord and the glory in praising Him and not looking at yourself. Uh, there's strength and there's power in that. So I enjoyed, you know, through this journey, I enjoy just hearing songs that glorify him because I know that he loves it. And so a lot of people that, are, that really need a touch from God and a fresh touch of healing or encouragement, if they would just get them, their minds off of their situation. And because the word says, I will keep you in perfect peace. It means your body, your mind, your personality, whatever's going on in the world, how it reflects on you. But I will keep you in perfect peace. I'll fix up that sickness, that doubt, that fear, that I don't know what's going to happen. I will keep you in perfect peace. And once you begin to worship God in that way, like, I know he loves this, so I'm doing it because he loves it not because I want anything from him. 
but because I love him and I love to see him glorified and hear music that glorifies him. And that's what got me through. I'll never leave you, never forsake you. 